The book, Yellow Face, by R.F. Kwan, keeps readers interested with its detailed and insightful look at the publishing industry and the complicated nature of racial identity. In his book, Kwong uses satire in a smart way to bring attention to systemic racism and the way people in power manipulate stories. The book has been praised by critics for the bold way it deals with themes like power, appropriation, authenticity, and how art has become a commodity. In the story, June Hayward is a white writer who is suffering and wants to get her career back on track. June's jealousy of her famous friend Athena Liu, an Asian-American writer with a multi-book deal and a Netflix deal, sets in motion a series of events that show the dark side of the literary world. After Athena dies suddenly, June sees an opportunity, she finds Athena's unfinished book, which tells the stories of Chinese workers during World War I. In a smart move, June changes her name to Juniper Song and claims Athena's work as her own, becoming famous as the author of a moving and culturally important book. Kwong's story doesn't shy away from the effects of June's deeds. The book turns into an exciting look at moral uncertainty and the tension between success and being yourself. As June's lie gets bigger, she has to deal with the weight of her choices, which leads to a fascinating look at white power and the moral consequences of cultural appropriation. Yellow Face by R.F. Kwong is a thought-provoking and important piece of modern literature because it has interesting characters, ideas that make you think, and sharp social commentary. This work pulls the reader in and makes them think about the lines between authenticity and exploitation while managing the complicated worlds of race, power, and the creative process. As Yellow Face gets into the details of identity and how people see themselves, it makes readers think about the bigger effects of their own actions and decisions.